The Honorable Dudley. Thank you, Chair. Growing numbers of people in affected communities are asking government to permanently ban hydraulic fracturing throughout South Africa. They are facing the looming threat of an expanding suite of extractive fossil fuel mining processes, one of which is unconventional gas extraction, which makes use of hydraulic fracturing, aka fracking, and coal bed methane extraction. There are fracking bans underway in many parts of the world, and many countries, including Scotland, Wales, Germany, Spain, France, Poland, Bulgaria, Romania, Argentina, Switzerland, Austria, the Czech Republic, Italy, Ireland, both North and South, and the Netherlands. Since October 2015, 11 new applications to PASA have been submitted for shale gas exploration in the eastern watershed of South Africa from Matatiel in the northeastern Cape, across KwaZulu-Natal to the Free State and in Pumalanga. The ACDP also has serious concerns with the situation in South Africa where state capture conspiracy theories abound and no one seems to know anything about US-based and owned rhino oil and gas or other applicants, Sungu Sungu and Natuan. Now, more than ever, we need to know exactly who is capturing our water resources and land and exactly who will benefit. Many of the areas targeted for exploration are located in primarily rural landscapes, which function either as agricultural production nodes, both commercial and communal, as well as strategic water catchment areas. The primarily rural Matatiel population in former Transkei area in the Northern Cape is highly reliant on rural resources, grants and remittances. The area is the source of the Nzumbumbu River and contributes almost 40% of the water for the wider Nzumbumbu uh, Tsitsikama water catchment area. Now widespread shale gas well development across this landscape would destroy the grasslands and water sources which underpin livestock and agricultural production systems which are groundwater dependent through high risk contamination of the surface and underground water sources upon which Matatiel and downstream users of the Nzimbubu system are dependent. The Matatiel local municipality, provincial environmental and water officials and local traditional leaders have said no to extraction and unconventional gas and yes to agriculture, tourism and nature as described in their IDP. The Harrismith, Danhauser, Wackerstrom area is the watershed for the Val, Tugela and Pongola rivers supporting the economic hubs of the country. We cannot afford to further deplete and pollute our precious water supplies already under threat. Despite consultants and applicants admitting that the number of jobs created is minimal and few available for locals, they continue to promise jobs and poverty alleviation as the benefit from extraction and unconventional gas. And no mention is made of the impacts and legacy left for communities once they leave with the profits. Short-term menial jobs at the cost of human health, dignity, water security, and long-term household and food security are a bad deal, to say the least. There are alternatives and more sustainable energy sources such as wind, wave, solar, which could and should be developed by ESCOM for the benefit of us all. Recent CSIR studies indicate the job creation, that job creation through renewable development way exceeds those related through fossil fuel extraction and processing. As exploration will lead to extraction, the impacts of this mining have to be identified and mitigated at the outset, not afterwards. And according to the CSIR Strategic Environmental Assessment Report, health impacts have not yet been addressed. This is a significant failing. The ACDP calls on government to ensure that the National Environmental Management Act, NEMA, is not contravened and that, at the very least, a moratorium is placed on exploration until the impacts have been adequately mitigated. Thank you. Thank you.